Ah oh, yes, the jellyfish dragon is finally being released! I'm excited, I've wanted this dragon to come out for a while now. So, the jellyfish dragon is being released as part of a Dragon's Delight event when the new divine event starts. And on top of that, we do also have a chain breeding event out that's going to be coming for the Taurus dragon as well. So the reason that we know this is because they have posted what next week's schedule is gonna be between May 27th to June the 3rd. And as you know, the new divine event is starting on the last day of May. So this does include part of the new divine event. So we'll go from top to bottom. It says, hello, are you here again with news about the upcoming events? Oh, there's a hidden smiley. You see that? You see that? There was no smiley and then I go, oh, and there's suddenly a smiley. That's freaky actually. But anyway, May 27th to the 31st is a crowded nursery. You know, we've seen those before. Hatch as many dragons as you can, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't seem like there's a reward for that. May 27th to the 31st, there is a great dragon race, which is the regular clan dragon race. Nothing too special there. Then the 27th to the 30th is Farming Fanatic. Collect as much food as you can from the farms. Leaderboard prize being the Wind Up Dragon. He's a little cutie if you want to get him. And then 31st to June 3rd is a Golden Gatherer. Collect as much gold as you can from the habitats. Leaderboard prize being the Soccer Dragon. So that's all kind of, yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't really care too much about those events. And then we've got these events at the bottom here. And these are the ones to take note of. So May 29th to the 31st is Chain Breeding for the Taurus Dragon. So it is like Flash Breeding, like what we got for the, the other guy the Aries dragon. So use the metal and orange dragons to breed a legendary Taurus dragon. So that is metal plus orange and you've only got a few days to get those two ready and I have popped them into the DML Planner website. So if you check in the bottom left hand side here it's going to show us all of the dragons except for that chain breeding event dragon. So that's one, two, three, four, five other possible outcomes. So you're going to have around about a 4% chance to breed the Taurus Dragon base, but maybe they're going to boost the odds because it's part of a chain breeding event. Maybe not because it's only flash breeding. I don't know, we'll see, but you will have a chance to get this dragon again if you missed out on him. So fingers crossed, hopefully, if you weren't successful the first time, hopefully you get him this time instead. And then after that, May 31st to June the 4th is a Dragon's Delight event. So make your dragons happy to win divine tickets, the bubble dragon from Milestone Rewards, and the brand new jellyfish dragon on the leaderboard. So yes, I did say that the jellyfish dragon was coming out, but I will add to that that you can only get it by coming top three on the leaderboard, because I imagine it's going to be the same as usual. So technically, Mr. Bubble Dragon is going to be the easier one to get out of this again, but which is kind of weird because the Bubble Dragon was the easier one to get before, I thought, wasn't he? Either way, he was available in a Dragon's Delight event sometime in the past, so he's coming back in another one. But then the Jellyfish Dragon is going to be that leaderboard prize. So this is going to be a very sought after dragon. I want it. I want it badly. I don't know if we can do it on Android. We'll see how it goes, but um, fingers crossed. I'm just glad that this dragon is finally getting released because we've seen it for like, what, a month and a half now? So at least we got it in-game soon. And then finally, it says from May 27th to June the 3rd, the weekly dragon is the axolotl, parrots being razor and melon. And we did go through that a few days ago. So overall, that's quite a lot of stuff to take in. It is weird that during this next week's schedule, the only mention about Divine Tickets or the Divine Event was make your dragons happy to win Divine Tickets for the Dragon's Delight. So that we we know along with the Bubble Dragon and the Jellyfish Dragon, we can also get those Divine Tickets. So I guess the event is just hard starting as soon as May 31st comes along? I don't know, it's 31st, right? I'm not going crazy, yes. You know how some months have 30 days and others have 31. I forget which months have which. But, you know... Get yourself ready for all of this new stuff. You know, I think the main thing is going to be the Taurus Dragon so that people that missed out on getting him during the other events will have a chance for it. And um, obviously people really like competing in the Dragon's Delight events as well. So along with all of next week's schedule and whatever else, it is a Friday, which means we're going to get our regular Friday things. So to start off with, you know, we've got the Whale Mart. 
and um, we got some intriguing deals in here. We do have one, two, three, four, five different deals this week. And the first one is for seven pieces of the genie dragon and some food. Um, I, for anyone that just does clan stuff really frequently, you probably already have like 200 genie dragons. So this is probably a deal you'd want to avoid. It's sort of a waste of gems, unless you're really, truly desperate for it for, I don't know, some odd reason. And then next to that, there is a much better deal that is much better value for your gems, which is five VIP tickets for 45 gems. And again, it's a pretty good deal, but if you're planning on saving up for the 20 days of VIP, and it's you either have to choose between getting this one now or the 20 days of VIP, you're going to make a choice. Would you rather have the single day tickets or would you rather have the long term 20 day plan? That's what you got to decide for yourself. The next one that we've got is... Five arena gems for 250,000 gold each. I highly recommend that whenever you see arena gems, you take them because you will be wanting to eventually one day in the Elite League get to the top number one spot so that you can unlock some of those really special uh, arena dragons, like which is the one that we have currently in the arena. For example, right now we have the Amazon Dragon, and you can only get the Amazon Dragon for coming in first place in the Elite League. Um, I mean, there's also just people that want to go through the arena anyway as, as quickly as they can into the higher rankings, and arena gems are really, really useful for this. I mean, you can get free arena portal energy anyway for getting a certain amount of wins in a row, but whenever they're offered in the Whale Mart, it's also definitely worth a purchase. And so the second last deal that we've got in the Whale Mart is 2.5 million gold and five pieces for the Cappuccino Dragon. If you really want the Cappuccino Dragon and you haven't been lucky enough with Otto's Lotto, then if you're only like five pieces away, this might be worth it to you. I still think it's a little bit expensive for a rare, especially when you could get it for free through the lottery tickets. But I guess if you just want to skip the RNG, then you can purchase it outright as well. And finally, we have... Enchantment tickets, only two of them, for a thousand dungeon tokens each. We have no other use for dungeon tokens right now. And enchantment tickets can be really, really good if you've got enough of them, so I highly recommend you buy that as well. Because with enchantment tickets, basically you just keep buying them every single Whale Mart week until eventually you get enough to buy the double epic chest one for ten tickets. And um, you spend them and hope that you get the RNG that you want on the materials. That is pretty much it. So that is all of the main stuff that we've got for now. We will also get weekend events. Like we've got a boss challenge at the moment to keep doing. But we will get the weekend events very, very shortly. But they're not here quite yet. So unfortunately I cannot update you on them at this very moment in time. But I will do it soon enough. Soon enough when it is here. But look, we are five fights away from finishing off the boss challenge event and being done skis with it. So luckily for us, we're not going to have to waste too many gems or too many more gems at that. But I'm just glad that we are going to get our hands on that beautiful little moss dragon. And um, let's breed. All right, fair enough. We didn't get it this time. Although, you know, I say that. We've been so lucky with all of our Gemini betas recently. It's kind of disgusting. But I guess we're not getting the special clan event for a little while now since we're getting the clan race back soon. So I don't know. Maybe they've just decided to not pop in the new clan event for a little while until they fix everything. I don't know. It could be anything, really, why they decided not to do it. 25 gems. Look at that. There's the boss challenge done right there. Wonderful. Well, not quite. Almost. Almost done. So I'm going to pop these guys into explore, do that, skip this one as well. And then I'm going to use Kronos so that we can speed up the breeding time for now. Because if I'm going to be gone for a couple of days, which I am, then might as well use the six hour speed up now. And then by the time we come back, we'll have another one. It's wonderful having Kronos up so often. Uh, it's just so convenient. I love it. Uh, but I guess we're not going to get any more dragons to explore. I don't really care about these two that much. So, without further ado, if everything else is basically done... Uh, there we go. Let us use Chronosian. The Chronosian boy. 
Speaking of which, the Time Rift events, it is a shame that Kronos isn't more involved in some way or doesn't change his design when the new Divine Time Rift events come out. I was hoping that he would, just because he'd look pretty cool, but I guess they don't want to do that for whatever reason. I don't know. They're just not feeling it, apparently. So, since I'm not going to be here for at least a day, I'm going to pop in the Royal Figs. It's probably the only time you're ever going to see me put in one day food ever. But might as well do it anyway. And uh, now most of our stuff is going to be done and ready very soon. So, for now, that is all the new news. That is all the hip and upcoming stuff. You know, it's important that we get this stuff early so that we can pre-plan for it. And especially with the flash breeding slash chain breeding events, it's going to be really, really difficult to get a legendary in that short span of time. Obviously, if you've got a second breeding den and you've got two lots of the metal and orange dragons, that would be the best case scenario, but a majority of people won't have that. So all I'm going to say is good luck with that chain breeding stuff and good luck with any other breeding that you're doing, and I hope you get everything that you want. So for now, thank you for joining me. Until next time, I will see you then.